Good morning, you guys. It's 6.08 and I'm just getting up because my hair is cray cray. Yeah, run away because of that guy. Look at the camera. What did you do to wake me up last night, Kit? Mr. Kit. Yeah, he woke me up last night. Anyways, guys, sometimes life happens. I am one that gets up like 4.35 and I could not get up this morning. And I said, I don't care, I'm not. Like I am, you could tell I am tired. So this is just a reminder that sometimes morning routines do not have to be perfect and self-care and sleep is number one. So I'm doing hot yoga today and it's going to be intense. Um, it's C2 class, which is always very intense. And I wanted my extra sleep because I need that energy to perform, to perform well in class. So anyways, guys, just a reminder, not everything works out in the morning. Just go with the flow. Just know you're number one, prioritize yourself, your sleep. Sometimes your schedule just does not always work out and it's okay. Life happens. Okay. So, I love to splash cold water on my face every morning. This is something that I have done for years. That is cold. While I'm brushing my teeth with my Sonic hair toothbrush, I am in love with my cat. Every morning, he lays like this while I'm brushing my teeth. Also, while I am brushing my teeth, I love looking outside. It just sets the tone for my day and just I take in a lot of gratitude when I just look outside at nature. So you know that I absolutely always make my bed every single morning. It is something that I do. It is a habit, just like brushing my teeth. I have always done every morning before going to make my morning coffee and I really practice this every single morning. I also have taught this to my children, the ambiance of just having a nice bed to come home to or to just walk into your bedroom and see. It really makes my day. My husband bought me this blanket a couple years ago and I just love it. It's so sweet and he is the most amazing husband. I am very grateful and I just love this blanket. Okay, all done and ready to go. Every single morning, I open up all the blinds and let the natural light in. Even when it's cloudy like it is today with that fog, I still love to have that natural light come inside the house and just really set the tone for my day. And of course, lighting a candle just sets the tone and the mood. It just is so peaceful and calming. And this particular candle smells so amazing, especially during winter time. It's that pine smell that just is amazing. I usually use this, my oil diffuser, but today I'm going with the candle. It just smells absolutely amazing and look how beautiful that looks. Okay. <clears throat> Every morning before coffee or my matcha, I'm always drinking water. It is a must, it's a priority of mine. It is self-care, self-love. I'm almost done drinking it, but this is a must. Natural sunlight is so important. So take advantage of it. I don't know uh, when people have it super dark, scientifically proven that it causes depression. When you have everything open and natural lighting, it brings joy and happiness. Sunlight is a natural, natural vitamin for us. And seriously, I love it. Like grounding myself outside, getting the sunlight in on my skin, it is 100% worth it, guys. Okay, I got my morning coffee in one of my favorite mugs. Mm, so delicious. I got my king coffee. If you don't know what king coffee is, it is a reishi mushroom coffee that like totally detoxifies you, if you know what I'm saying. I've been drinking it for a couple of years now, but it never gets old. I love this stuff. 
So I switch it up between this and my matcha, but um, this is the best coffee in the world. Hey guys, so <clears throat> I know I talked about this before. I put this on before I go to hot yoga. Some oil. Um, I just, it, it makes my skin feel so good after. So anyways, so yes, today I woke up late and I'm one that talks about routines a lot. I think it's good to have some type of structure. Like for me, I wake up and I splash cold, ice cold water on my face. Just kind of helps me wake up. I feel so good after I do it. Like it's just kickstarts my day. It's a must for me <clears throat> and I have to have it cold. So, um, but yeah, I didn't get to, you know, do my meditation that I wanted to do and my breath exercises, breathing exercises, and that's okay. Not every day is going to be according to plan. And I just want to make sure you guys know that too, because I used to be the type that if I didn't do something, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that isn't good. I don't know why I was putting this away. I need some more. I can feel it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, sometimes things just don't go according to plan. So I used to freak out like, oh my gosh, why? Like, why did I sleep in? Like, why did I wake up late? I needed to get up. Now I missed this opportunity and that. And like, I was really hard on myself. And I realized I can't be that way. The one thing is for me, as long as I get my coffee, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, and I don't have to write my goals out every day. Like last night I did my visualization. Um, I made sure that I was visualizing like my goals, think the outcome that I want. And I feel like that's really important, especially right before bedtime. So I think it's important to do that before bedtime because for me at least, it puts me in that state. And I always have dreams about my goals. I don't know about you, but I dream every single night. And every time I set my intention, my goals at night, I have a dream. It could be one dream or it could be a part of it, but usually it's part of, usually a dream that occurs is usually what I want my goal to be the outcome of my goal. So it's really interesting that way, but you know, so don't beat yourself up if you're just having a morning where you just are not on schedule and you, you know, you miss something. It is what it is. Just little things like that I find gratitude for. It doesn't have to be big things, just the littlest things. Low fog, I'm grateful for, you know, just the picture perfect morning. Okay, you guys, I'm in my daughter's room because she is the only one that has this fabulous long mirror. This top is Beyond Yoga and these um, leggings are Fit Apparel, which I got these from my yoga teacher, Alka. She used to model for them. So, um, yeah, they're super comfy and perfect for yoga. But I say it's, uh, I love wearing this during hot yoga. It's soft and it really captures all the sweat. So, um, I'll have something else with me to uh, change into when we're done. But yeah, this is the yoga outfit of the day because. I don't ever really post my yoga outfits, but yeah, this is the jam for today. The back of this shirt, I absolutely love. It's so pretty. So anyways, guys, let's go. So I have two eggs with leftover sweet potato that I threw in there and banana and strawberries. This is an excellent meal before yoga and I'm eating it now so it has time to digest so I'm not sitting so heavy with food in my stomach during class. So welcome to our vitamin shop. So I take this every day. I love it so much. Um, it's so much different than just a regular 
multivitamin you would buy at Costco or anything like that. I am a true believer in very clean and non-synthetic products and this is as good as it gets right here. So I love it. So these are the three that I just took. I take four of these, two of these, and one of these. So um, I love Equal Life. I've been taking it for a couple years now um, consistently. The daily fruit and vegetable blend is almost like a prebiotic, but I absolutely love it. Um, game changer, I give it to my daughters. Uh, they all eat very healthy. My daughter Victoria loves like leafy green stuff, so she'll just literally eat it without even like putting anything on it, which is fantastic. Um, but I still give them because to be quite honest, we don't get enough fruits and vegetables. I try as much as possible to do it, but life gets in the way and I just want to make sure I'm getting everything that's, you know, good for my body. And this stuff is definitely good for my body. I don't even sell this stuff. So yoga hair don't care. Um, so anyways, I don't sell these vitamins that I'm talking about. Just letting you know, that's like, just because I talk about things doesn't mean that I sell them. There's a lot of misconception out there that people want you to believe that just because people love a product, they're just trying to sell it to you. That's why they do it. This is not true. Um, I know what works for my body. No one else lives inside of me but me. Whatever. So, so when people say that, just understand that it's just coming from a place of like anger or a place of um, the need to feel like they want to control other people. Well, I also drink this, which I don't sell um, at all. I love this and I have been drinking it for two years now since 2021. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> I also just started drinking this matcha um, peak and it's wonderful. It's so good. I, it just makes me feel good. It's very, very clean. There's nothing synthetic about these products and that's why I love them. However, again, I don't sell it. So I'm just loving the way that makes me feel and but, um yeah anyways i just wanted to let you know that i do not sell these products so i just know what works for me and those are great products so if you're looking for a good supplement i totally recommend those i forgot to show you guys my jacket from athletica i love it it's just a little baggy down here and i like things to be fitted but super warm i love the cow's neck i love the thumb hole um keeps my hands nice and warm but yeah anyways super cute jacket had it for a couple of years don't even know if they have them anymore but um yeah super cute also i have my oils going and yes i do sell these so if you're i could put a link down below but um if you are on instagram you can go right to it but I'll put a link down below to where you can order these. This duo, the smell is incredible. And I love, love this um, diffuser. It's amazing. Um, one thing I love, so this is like on a 12 hour timer. So it, so it runs for like 30 seconds and then it stops for 30 seconds. So then it's like a 12 hour cycle it'll stay on, which is awesome. So anyways, uh, peppermint is amazing for keeping bugs out like we, one thing I noticed with our new house is we don't have a lot of bugs but anyways we do have a lot of orchards and like lemon and orange trees and grapefruits uh, so I do notice some gnats and since I started doing my oils in the house I haven't seen one gnat yet um, lemon is great for like allergies and detoxifying, just like lavender, but there are some people who are allergic to lavender and I recommend lemon and peppermint and eucalyptus. This is a good allergy, um, 
duo right here. So having this in the house, it cleans the air and you're breathing this in. It is amazing. And again, please don't listen to people who talk about how oils don't do anything, don't do this, don't do that. Oils have been around for decades and decades and decades. Yes, some people are way more sensitive and I would never tell someone to just ingest them. But I know a lot of people who do. My mom's one of them. And my mom is never sick. Driving to yoga. Uh, so this was a goal of mine to do, was to start going back to hot yoga. I kind of gave it a break for a little bit and I love the way I feel after hot yoga. Like I love the sweating and when you're doing like vinyasa flows in that hot of an environment, it is extremely challenging and I really like having that type of challenge for me. So, so I want to do kickboxing, like I want to take up kickboxing and I'm going to do that. I, I already signed up for it and um, I will be meeting with a trainer to like kind of go over but I'm getting outside my comfort zone by trying something new. A new idea, a new challenge for me, um, and I'm really looking forward to kickboxing. So doing this hot yoga, kickboxing, I'm just switching it up and still keeping on with my, um, my workout routine. I have weights and everything at home and a squat rack, so I have no excuses not to work out. It's February. So are you finding yourself falling off the goal wagon? You know, do you like the goals that you set for yourself? Uh, was there a limiting belief behind those fears that you were like, mm, I'm going to do this, but you had this limiting belief behind that you possibly cannot succeed in doing this. That's what's blocking you. You can revisit your goals at any time and make adjustments as needed. Walking into my house after going to the grocery store, I tell you, it smells so good because of my oils. I kid you not. It's like this peppermint, clean, it's so soothing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to shower. I can't. But uh, I wanted to show you a couple things I got from the grocery store. So I went to the store. I'm not going to show you every single thing, but obviously spring mix. I make this with a salad with most of our dinners. It's, my salad is so good. It's so fresh. Um, I got yogurts and I wanted to get more of these, but they were out. They only had two left. So I opted for the silk, which whatever. Um, Anyways, what I'm going to do, I saw this on Pinterest, is I'm going to mix some of this with some of this PB fit. You can use real butter if you are, you could use real peanut butter or almond butter, whatever you want to mix in with it. And then you melt some chocolate chips, which I have some really good dark chocolate, and you pour it over the top and you let it sit in the fridge you can sprinkle some like peanuts on it or what I'm gonna sprinkle is some pecans. And, and then you sit it in the fridge and it hardens and then you eat it. So I'm gonna test that out. So I got some of this for my stepdaughter. She'll be here tomorrow, she loves it. Avi, bananas. Um, I got stuff to make chili. I needed some more almond flour. I used a lot of almond flour while baking and also coconut flour. Brown sugar. So I'm going to be baking this weekend. Got my blueberries. I will clean those ASAP. Never eat anything unless it's clean with my 2.5 water. I have a Coggin machine and a 2.5. Seriously, you could see everything that's on it. It's so crazy. Um, and even the strawberries. Organic or not, I clean it with it. But um, I'm going to do a little charcuterie board. And I needed some, I have a lot of cheese, but I needed some goat cheese, the best. And these were my favorite crackers. 
So, okay. a lot of gluten-free options. Got this cheese. My husband loves it. Could be the worst one I've made. Um, but yeah, I got some chicken broth because I'm making um, and some white beans. I'm making some chicken chili for dinner tonight because I have a ton of chicken that I cooked up last night. I have two pounds of chicken I cooked up last night, so I'm going to make a chicken chili for dinner. So that's it guys, and I'll let you know how this turns out. Um, this is bomb, bomb.com. Um, I couldn't let it sit <clears throat> in the fridge for too long because so it didn't get like that hard chocolatey shell. Um, I have to be on a call at 12, so I have like 20 minutes to eat this. So, and after the call, I'm taking a bath. Yes, and then a shower to wash off everything. This is bomb.com. And my bath is complete. <clears throat> no candles lit, but I have my incense, so it's so calming. And I am going to grab my journal and journal down some goals and listen to the sound of the water trickling outside. It's so soothing. I'm so humble and so grateful beyond words. This is a dream come true. Hi you guys. So today is the next day and I wanted to hop on here to say if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and join my community. Um, I am always on Instagram as well. So go ahead and hop on over there and follow me. Lots of good advice. I am I am an open book and I really, really love to give you value. That is why I'm here. I will be doing a lot more vlogs. I have a whole lineup for you guys coming up. I have always been asked about my morning routines. For decades, I have been so strategic about my morning and night routines. Hence why I did this video because not every single morning is going to be perfect. And I want you to know that it's okay. So if you have these goals and you're like, shit, I did not wake up at the time I wanted to. Don't beat yourself up because today, tomorrow, the next day it is a new day. Biggest thing is is to stay committed to your goal. Don't beat yourself up about it. It is okay to have a day where you're like, oh no, I did not follow through with what, I did not follow through with my plans. It's okay because you got a new day, the new day, a clean slate. And as long as you know that you're going to accomplish these goals, as long as you keep that vision and the outcome in your head, you will do it. Just know that self-love sometimes looks like sleeping in that extra hour that you need. If you're running off of like four hours of sleep, your body is not going to perform the way that you need it to perform. I am not David Goggins. I don't even know how that man does it, but I can't do that. I cannot run off of four hours of sleep. I need at least seven to eight hours to perform and be on like my top game. So for me, Knowing that is self-awareness, which is self-love, and just knowing disciplined enough to still commit to my goals and to follow through the following day, which is what I did this morning. So stay true to yourself, love yourself, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I love giving info. Like I said, this is something I've been doing for years. I will be making a lot more of these, like I had mentioned before, because I feel like uh, people need to see how to have these routines and also know that I am following through as you know somebody who is teaching others how to do it. Just because I had one day doesn't mean that I just give up. I keep going, I make these steps, I make the adjustments as needed and boom, and this is how it goes. Okay, you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you soon.